Where do you see this technology best used, optimized? Um, j- just a few little tidbits there. You mean by the folks doing the physical work to manage, to, to produce these events? Yeah, the meeting professionals. You're at a conference right now. You're heading to one overseas. You're in touch with somebody who's telling you be here for the sound check. I mean, the honest answer, Seth, is sometimes AI isn't actually a fit. You know, it's not actually, you know, a square peg round hole. Like you don't need AI to do everything. I think, you know, it's funny is we we always thought that AI was going to, we, we have this fear that the blue collar jobs are the ones that, that ones that get, you know, replaced because that's what the industrial revolution did. The AI revolution is is coming for the white collar, the knowledge work jobs. And, and there are all sorts of reasons that's good and bad. But in a physical realm, it's not obvious right now that there are many good applications for AI until we improve robotics and computer vision. There are ways that like AI can support with troubleshooting problems in the physical world, but we don't yet actually observe that AI is equivalent to humans in a, from a robotic standpoint, right? Boston Dynamics has come a long way. They're, they're dog, that those mini characters are really good. And we are getting really close to humanoid robots that can cook and clean and do, you know imprecise but you know important tasks around the house i still want a pilot in my cockpit like there are a ton of business processes in the physical world that i want humans in the loop for for sure uh, and that's that's just going to be true for a long time for sure yeah the autonomous vehicles and people playing video games it just you know they even have a disclaimer right that you have to still be attentive or pay attention it's kind of like their little legal loophole out <laughs> 